And staying with that story, more cases of COVID-19 were reported in the central city of Taejeon on Sunday. And that city has seen a 36 cases in just one week period. Now, the rise is largely due to an outbreak linked to door-to-door -door sales. Our Lee sin tells us more. On Sunday, three more cases of COVID-19 were confirmed in the central city of Taejeon, some 160 kilometers south of Seoul. In a span of just a week, 36 people have been infected in the city. The latest cases include patients in their 70s and 80s and are linked to a door-to-door -door sales business that sparked the outbreak in the city. Dubbed the nth transmission, the initial infection has led to secondary, tertiary and chain transmissions. And the number of nth transmission related to the door-to-door -door sales business is rising. Health authorities, however, are all the more concerned as these businesses target senior citizens, leading to an uptick in the number of elderly patients. We'll carry out inspections and crackdowns on unreported and unregistered companies in cooperation with the city, districts and police. The problem doesn't end in Daejeon. According to quarantine authorities, the outbreak in Daejeon has also spread to other cities like Jeonju and Gwangju. In response, the government has designated additional high-risk facilities to include door-to-door -door sales companies and distribution centers. We'll add door-to-door -door sales businesses, logistics centers, large cram schools and buffet restaurants to the list of high-risk facilities and strict quarantine measures will be in place as of 6 p.m. on June 23rd. With door-to-door -door sales businesses being the source of COVID-19 outbreaks in Seoul and Daejeon, quarantine officials are concerned such sales practices could further spread the virus to other cities. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.